go back just for a second uh, to that song I mentioned earlier. Thank you for noticing me. This was a song they also played during the closing ceremonies video of the week that Justin came to camp that first summer. And um, this song uh, just really encapsulates uh, the, the beautiful thing that that is Camp Barnabas. That I, I want to. I'll just recite the lyrics. So the I don't know the. I've looked for years now trying to find out who wrote the song and who sang it. I don't know. It wasn't like it hit on the radio, so I, I really have no idea. But it, um, the lyrics are: We all come from very different places. We all have very different faces. I still remember the um, look that said, "You're worth my while." I still remember the very first time we made each other smile. Everybody fits when we're together. Everybody's got something to give that makes things better. And though we both felt the harshness of this world, friendship gave us a place to hide in our burrow. Thank you for noticing me. Thank you for saying things to me most people don't say. Thank you for loving the monster on my inside. Without that love, the life in me might have died. Anyway, um, that song struck me because, you know, I, I was getting a lot of feedback from people back home, like, complimenting me for going to camp and working and, you know, it was people were talking as if I was the one doing other, these campers a favor, you know, and and I just didn't see it that way. I mean, I I was getting way more from them than I was giving to them. I mean, I I felt like they were loving the monster on my inside in the sense that they the kind of love that you get from these campers is just so unconditional, no no strings attached, just an acceptance that just I had no paradigm for. And um, it, it changed me. It changed my whole world. Um, Justin, I, I meant to mention this in the previous video. Um, Justin has come to visit our home a few times since Michelle and I have been married. And he came down to visit uh, when my daughter Joy was born. He, he likes to call us his other parents. And he calls Joy his little sister and Jack his little brother. And um, it, it really does feel like he's just a member of the family. Um, something else I've, I meant to mention uh, about Justin, um, just another example of how he just really rocked my world. Justin's mom is white and his dad is black. And of course Justin is blind, so clearly he has a unique perspective on race. I remember there's one particular summer, uh, every week at the end of the week there's a big camp dance. And some campers would try to you know, arrange to go to the dance with other, another camper. And so on this particular night, the dance is coming up in a couple of hours. And so Justin uh, asks one of the campers in the dining hall at dinner time to go to the dance with him. And later, uh, when we were in the cabin, he's getting dressed for the dance. He asked me, kind of just nonchalantly, like, Dan, does that girl ask the dance? Is she white or black? And it didn't matter to him. He just was curious because he hadn't seen her, you know. And um, and I was like, man, like, that, talk about not like allowing a person's physical appearance to shape your view of them. Like Justin had already arranged the dance. He's already happy to go with this girl, and this, this, this the color of her skin was an afterthought, you know. I, man, I just I learned so much from Justin because. He showed me what it meant to just treat people like people and not to not to categorize people by the way they look and um, just I, I was really blown away by that um, anyway all that to say please read this book by Ruthie Burrell where life is found um, there are a lot of videos on YouTube about Camp Barnabas that can give you a little glimpse firsthand of what what it's like um, it's uh, another book that I would recommend if you haven't ever heard of it is uh, Champion for the Challenge, written by Hino Head back in 2003. It tells the story of how camp began. 
And this book by Ruthie Burrell kind of tells the rest of the story. Camp Barnabas was founded 30 years ago this year. And this book was meant to kind of coincide with that 30th anniversary. So, um, anyway, highly recommend it. Uh, please give it a chance. And um, please consider, you know, getting involved in, in Camp Barnabas financially. I mean, camper scholarships um, are an incredibly meaningful way to... to to share your money with with the Lord, and uh, it's very well used money. If you help campers experience camp that wouldn't otherwise get to experience it, um, so many people, campers and volunteers and staff, have, have met Jesus or deepened their love for Jesus at camp. Um, so it's it's an investment well spent.